we're we'll going to planets uh, when we overview a very fast toolbar. So right now I want to look a little bit closer. So let's go ahead from left toolbar. We'll click on the planet and we'll create it one. You notice right here we have planet creating. The one thing, the distance to the camera, it doesn't necessarily mean you can see it's after scaling. You can modify scale by take corner and increasing. However, if it's located closer to the camera or far away to the camera, for the renders, it's always located behind any object. So if I go and create, for example, primitives, okay, let's go to create sphere. And technically I take the sphere and I put it right here behind my planet. So you can see my planet right here, my sphere behind. However, right on the render, you can see it's located behind the sphere. So you need to understand that planets, it is almost like a backdrop or some elements that always located on the back of your scenery, so automatically infinity. The atmosphere effects will apply to the our planets. So if you have clouds or whatever, they will cover the same like a haze. As a properties in the planet, in our object property, let's look closer. We have options to select from already pre-made all in our solar system. Or you can preload it custom. And I have several tutorials about how to use it in different ways, the planet. As an example, if you go into Carnacopia and you could play, you can see right here all of the starscapes, the backdrop. They're actually using the planet as a back view and we're creating all this different look and other things again with the planet so it's just a generic backdrop and right here we have a cloud and planet and this is creating so you have it multiple ways to do that and this again just an example and I have it many tutorials that cover how to do this um, we probably will include some in a project as we work along because I want to show you some of the planets you can achieve. By by default, let's look on this properties. So we have it, our selection of the planet. We have it also preview options, wireframe box it. We have it preview our planet right in the window. And this is help us with the phase. So currently our sun going from the side, it doesn't mean we can change and we can actually have a total opposite lighting. So it does not match. So be careful on that. But you can select different phases of the lighting. We can increase, decrease brightness of our object, as well softness on the edges. So if we pop up a little bit more, you can see right here, edges become a little bit softer. Or if we're going all the way, we can have the very sharp edges. How in some ways, when I used as a backdrop, so I can create one large scale. Just put it on the back, you know, maybe right here. We don't need softness, full brightness. And we can always select maybe um, some different type. So and you can see from preview now. So this is too plain. So you can see from render, we can use it as a backdrop for whatever we want to create it. But just overall understanding on a planet, the planet doesn't matter where it's located close to the camera or far away on a back, it's always will render behind the objects on your scenery with the atmosphere effect, decay and haze will apply it, overlay over the our system. Um, also some of the properties, like for example, custom, um, available in Infinity in Extreme and FM right, it does not available in a complete or other versions of the VU. Even you have um, module for that.